in 2017, don't you think we worked on this boat for seven months and we were getting ready to leave to go to the Bahamas. Dad drove to Phoenix to leave his car and then his gallbladder exploded. He had four surgeries in 2018. We get the boat back in the water again and we're four days from leaving and you broke your hip. So we had two months that we're waiting. He's overreacting. And we're leaving tomorrow for the Bahamas and we have to make sure that Captain is going to come with us. Girls, are you ready to take drastic measures to get Captain Baba to the Bahamas? Yes! All right, let's do this. They're overreacting. I'm gonna be able to steer the boat with all my safety gear on. If I fall in, I'm not going to sink either, yeah. and I probably won't break any bones, but I still think this is an overreaction. Yeah. Next stop, Bahamas. <laughs> Today we're going to bust out of Fort Pierce, and that's our sky, a beautiful sunrise. There's going to be some thunderstorms this afternoon, but that'll be okay. The big thing you have to do is just be able to get out of the dock without hitting anybody or hitting anything. Red sky in morning, sailor rejoice. <laughs> it's finally happening. Today is the day. We are leaving Fort Pierce to go to the Bahamas. <laughs> we are all super stoked. Well, it's, as uh, Garvey said, every time it's exciting, no matter how many times you started. So we got moving today, and that's awesome. We broke suction on the marina, we headed south, we got some heavy weather coming in. We knew it was coming, we didn't know how far we'd make it, but the smart thing to do is just put an anchor down where we have some shelter instead of going out and getting beaten up uh, later on. Just getting out and putting the engines to a test and making south is progress. I think we're going to go out the St. Lucie Inlet and either go south along the beach uh, or just head out across the Gulf Stream but maybe go south along the beach unless we get headed. I think we should go for it. I think this is the day we've been waiting for. All right, let's rock. Ready for the Atlantic Ocean, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna go out there, we're gonna head south, then we're gonna head east, and then we're gonna go to the Bahamas. How long will that take us, roughly? It will take us at least, depending how far south we go, it's gonna take us a day. Okay, so we're gonna have a night night passage. We will be sailing First overnight. Night <laughs> Welcome to the Atlantic Ocean! Yo! We're here! Two years of hard work to get to this point. This is it, the first time we've raised the mainsail in over a decade. And we're trying out our new rigging from Fort Pierce. The mast is not falling down yet, that's positive. First time we put the head sail out. A decade. Look at that. Yeah. What? Oh my God. Ah. Be in 
time back on the boat is, uh, it's like we were here a couple weeks ago. It's, uh, I feel a little rusty, but yet it's so familiar. I've put my hands in the same places to go up and down steps, in and out of doors a billion times, and uh, it really feels good. We're about, I don't know, three hours north of Fort Lauderdale, and considering where we started, we're doing really well. We just kind of snugged up in close to the coastline here to keep the waves from uh, bouncing us around too much. We've got a southwesterly breeze, which is really good. And in a couple hours, we're gonna take and turn our bow to the left and head for the Bahamas. We've seen a lot of cool stuff today. Dolphins, flying fish. We tried our new sails. Uh, the rigging is holding well. We got our new electronics are working great. But perhaps the most beautiful, important thing is that beach right behind us. Delray Beach, where Sarah, 12 and a half years ago, consented to make me the happiest man in the world. Longer than that. Was it? It was like 14 years ago. 14 years ago, consented. Oh, you're <laughs> right. Show me your ring. Dude, that's not the ring I gave you! We're both wearing silicone rings. Yes. Because there's so many things your hand gets gets caught on on deck while you're working and we figured you didn't want to lose them or lose a finger. Yeah. This story has taken a decidedly more practical and less romantic tone now. <laughs> Anyways, Delray Beach, right over there. Woohoo! That is the entrance to the Fort Lauderdale Port Everglades Inlet. And in 1995, we left from there and started our first circumnavigation. It took us 11 years, but in 2006, we sailed back in through that inlet right there. We just crossed our inbound and our outbound track for our new adventure. How does it feel that? It feels awesome. We're gonna go that way all night and discover someplace new in the Bahamas and from there, who knows? Caribbean, Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, time will tell. But it's gonna be an adventure and I'm excited. It's about 4.30 now. We have crossed the Gulf Stream successfully. And we're basically in the Bahamas. We're 25 miles out from Port Lucaya. Oh, look who's here. You need some help. No, good things are happening. Well, yeah, but it's been, we've been up for a while. Mom went to bed at 11. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know that dad got up at one o'clock and took watch from one to four. No. Yeah, he did. You're kidding. Nope. I went from 11 to 1, Dad went from 1 to 4. Well, if I take it from 4.30, then you're pretty, you're in good yeah, shape. Yeah, looks like I've been, I've been on watch for 25 <laughs> minutes, about time for Mom to take it. Yes. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever used a chart plotter, and I have to admit I'm pretty impressed. It has mysteriously restarted a couple times by itself, which is uncool, but that's why we have paper charts, and we actually have a backup set of charts on our laptop. Because of our AIS system, I can put my finger on ships that have AIS and I can see what kind of ship they are, what their name is, and what their course is, what their speed is, all kinds of things. So this guy is five miles from us, named the China Dawn, the tanker, 807 feet long, 138 feet wide, draws 45 feet. There's three cargo ships and a cruise liner. So everyone's waiting for light to do what they gotta do. How was your first night sail? <laughs> did you take watch? You're yawning. Oh, you did? You were up in the bow taking watch? <laughs> oh, did you see any, any ships up there? No? Was it a good watch? 
Mm -hmm. Time to take a nap now. All right, you ready for the Bahamas? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. We just did our first passage across the, the Gulf Stream, and I think it went as well as we could have possibly hoped for. We had um, the perfect weather window. The Gulf Stream co cooperated with us. Um, it was a nice short hop across to get to the Bahamas, and here we are. So, super psyched. A little sore, actually, which is kind of funny. Slightly queasy, which is kind of why I'm sitting out here just enjoying the beautiful sunrise and watching the horizon. But uh, we're just so pumped to be in another country and to start our sailing adventure as a family.